What's up guys, welcome to your 12th Pi game tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use animation and how to make things move around on the screen. Now, we already um, moved around a couple things with like the keyboard and the mouse, but I want to show you guys how to move it around just on its own. So, uh, if you ever worked with Ajax before, you probably know how to do this. But anyways, I'm going to show you how. Anyways, so I got my basic um, background image file and mouse image file with using the background and the ball. And I also converted it to our background and ball. So there you go. Um, so that's what we have to start out. You should know what those things are already. But now what we need to do is go ahead and put those things on the screen. But before we do that, I want to make a variable that's going to... What we're going to do is we're going to change the x-coordinate of the ball. So if we're going to change it, we probably need a variable for it. So just set x equal to 0 right now. And I know you don't know what it does, but you will soon enough. So now that we have x equal to 0, and hopefully you have the rest of that stuff, what we need to do is go ahead and blit the background onto the screen. So screen, blit, and for our parameters, put background or whatever you named yours, probably should name it background actually. And you want to position this at 0, 0, 0, 0 so it fits on the screen perfectly. So nothing new with the background. What we do want to change is that ball. So what we want to do is when we blit this, the, excuse me, ball to the screen, uh, blit, look at that, I already knew what we were going to do. We want to blit the ball and we want the position to be not fixed, we want it to be, the x coordinate is variable so x and then 160 for the y so its y coordinate is never going to change but the x is going to change so you're saying all right then make a change well all right then i will x plus equal one so now what we're going to do is every time this loop refreshes which should be like every fraction of a second then we're going to add one to the x coordinate so it's going to start out as zero and then it's going to go, the coordinate is going to go 1, 160, 2, 160, 3, 160, 4, 160, 5, 160. And as these coordinates change, your ball is going to give the appearance of going left and right across the screen. So again, if we did this, it would do it for a fraction of a second and then go off into like a million 160 off the screen. But what we want to do is just for viewing purposes, we want to say, all right, when you get to the edge of our screen which is 640 pixels wide we want you to start over again at zero just so we can see what's going on so let's write a simple if statement if x is greater than 640 which means if it goes off our screen what we want to do is reset the x coordinate to zero and what this is going to do is every time the ball gets to the end of the screen and reaches 640 it's going to pop up back to zero again and this is all going to happen real fast just because python runs really quick but you'll see why this is useful so now you see our animation which our ball keeps going on the screen left and right and if this is too fast for YouTube um, it's too fast even in own program in it but what this happens is the ball starts out at 0 160 and it travels across the screen until it gets the 640 160 then it pops back so I know this probably looks weird on YouTube because of the frame rates and stuff but this is actually going left to right, left to right, then hopping back. So that brings me to another problem, that this is going too fast that we can even see. And there's a way to fix this so you can see it perfectly. And this will give you your animations you want timed exactly how you want it, whether it's slower than that or, God forbid, faster than that. So that's where we're going to be going over in the next tutorial. But for now, just make sure you learn how to animate simple movement using a while loop and how to change one of the coordinates dynamically and this is just useful so it goes back and you can view over and over again and this doesn't go off the screen till forever so thank you guys for watching that tutorial don't forget to check out my next tutorial where i show you how to time it better so you can actually view it instead of giving you a seizure so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next tutorial